As the situation in the skies continues to evolve and new threats constantly take on new forms, few aircraft can wield such far-reaching influence both as a symbol and as a weapon, quite like the F-35. For the U.S. Air Force, the Lightning II is far more than just another fifth-generation fighter. It is the backbone of America's future air power, a ghost on radar screens, and a nightmare etched into every adversary's battle plan. But actually, just how dangerous is the F-35? Why could it shape the U.S. Air Force's strength for decades to come? Let me tell you, in the world of military aviation, where even a split second can decide victory or defeat, the F-35 Lightning II stands apart from every rival. It is not merely a fighter jet, it is the symbol of a new era where speed stealth and artificial intelligence converge into a single entity that redefines how humanity commands the skies. The Lightning II was born with three ultimate purposes to survive, to strike, and to connect. Every detail in its design serves one guiding philosophy to ensure that in any aerial engagement, the F-35 pilot is always the one who sees first strikes first and eliminates the enemy before they even realize what's happening. Its three distinct variants tailored for the Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps make it a universal toolkit of modern warfare where technology, data, and agility merge into a living network of power. But do you know what's truly surprising? What really sets the F-35 apart isn't its speed or firepower, it's the revolutionary combat philosophy behind it to win through invisibility and superior awareness. Its advanced sensor suite from active radar and infrared sensors to distributed aperture arrays around the fuselage integrates into a 360-degree brain capable of seeing through clouds darkness and distance while instantly sharing that data across the formation. The result, an F-35 pilot commands the entire battle space while the enemy is still searching for a target. The F-35A backbone of the U.S. Air Force is the clearest embodiment of that dominance. With 9G maneuverability, a next-generation digital cockpit, and radar-absorbent coatings, it can almost vanish from any air defense radar. Adversaries might detect it, of course, but don't celebrate just yet. It happens only for the briefest moment before they're destroyed. According to Lockheed Martin, the true strength of this fighter lies not only in its firepower, but in its ability to turn the entire battlefield into a living neural network. Each jet functions as a nerve node constantly linking, sharing, and coordinating attacks in real time. In an era where information is the key to victory, this fighter was built to know more, react faster, and strike with unmatched precision. For the United States and its allies, this fighter is a truly killer of the skies, stealthy, agile, versatile, and central to every mission. Its fusion of cutting-edge stealth and networked combat capability makes it not just a defensive asset, but a weapon of ultimate deterrence. A machine designed to survive, dominate, and control the airspace of the future. However, it's not just about its superior capabilities. What makes the F-35 even more important is something we're about to uncover. In modern warfare, simply owning an advanced jet is no longer enough. What truly defines air dominance today is how that aircraft shapes the battlefield. And in that arena, no machine plays a more decisive role than the F-35 Lightning II. From the first moment it entered service, the Lightning II was designed not just to fly, but to control the fight. Its mission extends far beyond dogfights or bombing runs. It was built to see first strike first and command the entire aerial domain, often before the enemy even knows it's there. Its first and most vital role is air superiority, the ability to dominate the skies under any condition. While fourth generation fighters may still boast agility and raw power, they lack what truly matters in modern conflict stealth, sensor fusion, and seamless communication. The F-35 doesn't just survive in hostile skies, it reshapes them. It penetrates defended airspace, neutralizes enemy air defenses, and opens corridors for allied forces to move safely. Wherever it flies, the balance of power shifts. But mastery of the air is only the beginning. Beneath its sleek surface, the fighter hides the soul of a precision strike platform. With internal weapons bays, a growing arsenal of guided munitions and upgrades like the Block 4 package, it can hit targets on the ground with surgical precision, all while remaining invisible to radar. Its sensors identify track and classify threats from extreme distances, turning every mission into a one-sided battle. You may know agility alone no longer guarantees survival. Without stealth, even the most graceful fighters are just targets waiting to be found. The F-35's greatest weapon, however, isn't something you can see, it's the information it carries. In an era when data is the new ammunition, the Lightning II functions as a living node in a vast combat network. It absorbs signals, merges sensor feeds, and transmits critical intelligence across air, land, sea space, and cyberspace. Each aircraft acts like a neuron in a giant digital brain linking allies and amplifying every element of the force. 
In joint operations, this fighter often leads the formation detecting threats, identifying targets, and shielding older jets from harm. Its radar and electronic warfare systems don't just protect itself, they act as the eyes and ears of the entire strike group. For legacy aircraft flying alongside it, the presence of a Lightning II can mean the difference between ambush and awareness between survival and destruction. This role as a networked command hub in the sky is what transforms it from a fighter into a force multiplier. It extends the reach of fleets, enhances the lethality of ships and ground units, and binds entire military branches into a single synchronized organism. It's not just fighting a war, it's redefining how wars are fought. The need for such transformation is urgent. As aging fighters like the F-16 and A-10 near the end of their service lives, the U.S. Air Force faces an increasingly contested world, one filled with new threats, faster missiles and radar systems that can detect everything except the F-35. The Lightning II stands at the heart of this modernization effort not as a mere replacement, but as a generational leap. It bridges the past and the future, an aircraft born from lessons learned and designed for wars that haven't yet begun. Meanwhile, its siblings, the F-35B and F-35C, expand the concept of dominance beyond runways. The F-35B, capable of short takeoffs and vertical landings, has replaced the iconic AV-8 Harrier across both the U.S. Marine Corps and the Royal Navy. The carrier-based F-35C brings stealth to the decks of American supercarriers, allowing strike groups to operate deep inside enemy territory without warning. Together, the three variants form a unified triad of air power tailored for airfields, carriers, and forward assault bases alike. Behind this design lies a simple but ambitious idea, one jet for all wars. A single adaptable platform for the Air Force, Navy, and Marines, sharing common systems training and maintenance. That vision doesn't just save money, it forges unity linking America's vast military machine into a cohesive interoperable force, and that force is massive. According to the official Lightning II program, the U.S. Air Force alone plans to operate 1763F-35A, the largest single fleet of stealth fighters in history. That scale matters. It means lower costs, faster upgrades, and seamless integration with allied squadrons from Europe to the Pacific. It means when conflict comes, America and its partners won't just outnumber their enemies, they'll outthink them. Because this fighter isn't just a jet, it's an ecosystem. It evolves with software, learns from every mission, and adapts faster than any opponent can respond. Each new update expands its vision, its reach, and its ability to coordinate with future technologies, drones, sat elites, even autonomous swarms. For the United States and its allies, this fighter has become much more than a tool of deterrence. It's a statement, a symbol of strategic dominance in the 21st century. Every takeoff represents not just military readiness, but a reminder that control of the skies now depends on intelligence as much as firepower. And perhaps most importantly, the story of the F-35 doesn't end here, because its greatest role may still be unfolding. Regrettably, although the F-35 represents the pinnacle of 21st century air combat capability, its power is being restrained by a set of very real and almost gritty realities challenges. These are problems that stealth technology alone cannot overcome. Specifically, the mission capable rate, a key indicator of how many aircraft are ready to take off and perform missions at any given moment has dropped sharply reaching only about 51.5% for the U.S. Air Force's F-35A fleet in fiscal year 2024, a dramatic decline from previous years. Every aspect of operation from fault diagnostics and flight logs to maintenance scheduling and spare part procurement is centrally managed through intricate software systems such as ALICE and its successor ODIN. Here, a kind of logistical war of attrition unfolds in peacetime, a single software glitch, a delay in part authorization, or a bottleneck in the supply chain of specialized high-cost components can keep an aircraft grounded indefinitely, eroding its deterrent power. Don't stop there, the issue is further compounded by the persistently high cost per flight hour, which imposes a massive financial burden and limits the training hours available to pilots. Finally, the challenge extends beyond maintenance, it's strategic. Building the entire combat strength of an alliance around a single platform, no matter how advanced risks creating a single point of failure, over-reliance on the Lightning II means that any systemic vulnerability, whether a software flaw or an enemy countermeasure, could ripple across allied forces. Recognizing this pressure, the U.S. Air Force has launched what it calls a war on readiness, driving sweeping reforms in maintenance logistics and command priorities. The realization is clear for the F-35 to truly deliver its promised edge modernization cannot stop at hardware. The Air Force must revolutionize the entire digital logistics and maintenance ecosystem that sustains the fighter because in the new era of warfare, the battle for air superiority begins long before takeoff.
The F-35 Lightning II has transcended the simple definition of an American military asset to become a global instrument, the connective tissue that binds together the Western Defense Alliance. Its significance to the U.S. Air Force is amplified many times over by its foundational role within the defensive architecture of America's partners and allies. Senior USAF leaders often describe this aircraft as a foundational or core tactical aircraft. This description isn't just about its individual performance, it's about its ability to create a vast network of interoperability. Deployed across NATO allies and Pacific partners alike, the fighter enables seamless joint operations from shared training and logistics to fully integrated multinational missions. This network effect is a powerful strategic multiplier. When an F-35 from the US, the UK, or Japan shares targeting data sensor intelligence or coordinates within a multinational battle space, the combined fighting power increases exponentially. The jet serves as a common language of technology and doctrine, bringing a level of standardization that few defense programs have ever achieved. Many allies purchase this fighter not solely for its stealth or agility, but because it grants them access to and integration with the U.S. command control and intelligence infrastructure. This interoperability strengthens collective defense, ensuring that an attack on one is in effect an attack on all, met with a unified and data-driven response. Beyond its current form, this monster is not a finished product, but an evolving platform. It is designed to shape how the USAF and its allies will fight for decades to come through continuous modernization. The most critical effort underway is the Block 4 upgrade package combined with the Technology Refresh 3 initiative. These upgrades include advanced sensor suites, improved radar systems, next-generation networking capabilities, and integration of cutting-edge weaponry. Notably, the introduction of external fuel tanks will extend its operational range addressing one of its most pressing geographical limitations in the vast Pacific theater. These improvements are essential to ensure that the fighter maintains its technological edge as global air defense systems grow increasingly sophisticated. In short, it represents a dual-layer strategic investment It simultaneously modernizes America's own air power and strengthens the combat cohesion of its global alliances. Through its presence, it doesn't just dominate the skies, it unifies them.